O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Who is she ascend so high, next the heavenly King, round about whom angels fly, and her praises sing? Who is she adorned with light, makes the sun her robe, at whose feet the Queen of Light lays a changing glow? This is she in whose pure womb heaven's prince remain. Therefore in no earthly tomb can she be contained. Heaven she was which held that fire, whence the world took light. And to heaven doth now aspire, flames with flames to unite. She that did so clearly shine, when now day began. See how bright her beams decline, now she sits with the sun. Mary has been assumed into heaven. The angels rejoice. They sing for joy and praise the Lord. I rejoice when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing Within your gates of Jerusalem. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. For Israel's Lord it is, that who praise the Lord's name. There was at the thrones of judgment, of the house of David, for the peace of Jerusalem pray, peace be to your homes, may peace reign in your walls, in your palaces peace, for love my brethren and friends, I say peace upon you. For love of the house of the Lord, I will ask for your good. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever. The God who is, who was, and is to come at the end of the ages. Mary has been assumed into heaven. The angels rejoice. They sing for joy and praise the Lord. The Virgin Mary has been assumed to the heavenly dwelling place where the King of Kings sits on a throne of stars. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labour. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early arising, your going late to rest. You toil for the bread you eat, and he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Indeed the sons of you are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man! 
where spilled his grave with his arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in their gateways. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord, to the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Virgin Mary has been assumed to the heavenly dwelling place, where the King of Kings sits on a throne of stars. You are blessed daughter by the Lord your God. Through you we partake of the fullness of life. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and blameless before him. He destined us in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. He has made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ. His purpose he set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are blessed, daughter, by the Lord your God. Through you we partake of the fullness of life. Just as all men die in Adam, so all men will be brought to life in Christ. But all of them in their proper order, Christ as the first fruits, and then, after the coming of Christ, those who belong to him. The Virgin Mary has been exalted above the choirs of angels. The Virgin Mary has been exalted high above the choirs of angels. Blessed is the Lord who raised her up. The Virgin Mary has been exalted above the choirs of angels. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Virgin Mary has been exalted high above the choirs of angels. Today the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven. Rejoice and be glad for she will reign forever with Christ. My soul glorifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness, henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his rally servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, 
to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. Today the Virgin Mary was assumed into heaven. Rejoice and be glad, for she will reign forever with Christ. Let us praise God the Father, who chose Mary as the mother of his Son, and wanted all generations to call her blessed. With confidence we pray. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Father, you did great things for the Virgin Mary, and brought her body and soul to the glory of heaven. Fill the hearts of your children with the hope of Christ's glory. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Through the prayers of Mary, our mother, heal the sick, comfort the sorrowful, pardon sinners, grant peace and salvation to all. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. You favoured Mary with the fullness of grace. Bestow on all men your overflowing blessings. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. May your church be united, heart and soul, held fast by love. And may your faithful be joined in continuous prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us. Father, you exalted the Virgin Mary and crowned her Queen of Heaven. May the dead enter your kingdom and rejoice with your saints forever. May the Virgin Mary intercede for us at the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty ever-living God, you have taken the mother of your Son, the Immaculate Virgin Mary, body and soul into the glory where you dwell. Keep our hearts set on heaven, so that with her we may share in your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.